the main function of the anesthesia machines or workstations is to measure and add uh, fresh gases as well as anesthetic vapors into the breathing system because these flows are continuous conventional flow meters be it uh, the manual ones as indicated in the diagram here or digital ones are present on the workstations now we have dealt with and understood how these uh, flow meters function in one of the earlier uh, doodlies the link to which can be found here however these uh, anesthesia machines also measure uh, another set of flows which are intermittent in nature that is the output from the ventilators because this flow is intermittent we need a different mechanism to measure these flows welcome to this episode of undutely wherein we will be looking at how these uh, ventilator outputs are measured in the ge and the draeger machines which are among the most commonly used anesthesia workstations while uh, the ge machines use a device called as a, a pneumotachometer draeger machines use another system or a mechan measuring mechanism called a hot wire anemometer now because the draeger machines use a hot wire anemometer uh, certain precautions will have to be taken in some of the older draeger workstations like um, uh, draeger fabius or fabius uh, plus when desflurane is being used over the subsequent uh, slides we will look into how each of these uh, systems uh, work this uh, picture you see in the next slide is a side on view of the hot wire anemometer flow measuring device used in the draeger anesthesia machines this is interposed along the path of the gas flow the next picture here shows a end on view of the same device showing certain needle like structures projecting into the path of the gas flow these needles are electrically heated as gases flow over these uh, needle like structures they pick up heat causing a drop in temperature so the degree of drop in temperature corresponds to the amount of flow uh, going into a bit more uh, detail uh, the next diagram here represents uh, or indicates how exactly the hot wire anemometer works this is the familiar wheatstone's uh, bridge which we are used to uh, in the context of invasive pressure monitoring wheatstone bridge is the name given to uh, a combination of four resistances connected in such a way so as to uh, give a null central value so this device can be used to measure unknown resistances now uh, we have resistances r1 and r2 on one side r3 and r4 on another side when the bridge is balanced there is no potential difference across the points x and y so a voltmeter placed at the position g would not record any deflection now in this uh, system the resistances r1 and r2 are known and fixed the resistance of r4 is known and also can be altered now a heating element placed in the path of gas flow will have a resistance of rx which is determined by the temperature of the heating element now the sum of resistances r3 and rx would represent the total resistance at position r3 now when the bridge is balanced by altering the r4 resistance depending on the resistance of rx now when gases flow over the heating element it takes away some of the heat resulting in drop in temperature this alters the resistance rx as a result of which the total resistance at r3 position changes this unbalances the bridge again now by altering the 
resistance R4, we can balance the bridge back again. Now, the degree of alteration in R4 would give us the degree of change in the resistance at position Rx, uh, which is in turn linearly related to the temperature. Thus, we can estimate or measure the degree of change in temperature at the position Rx or the heating element. Thereby, we can measure the flow of gases. Now, the GE machines, in contrast, use a measuring uh, mechanism called as a pneumotachometer. Now, the principle involved in this is a fixed orifice variable pressure drop principle. This is in contrast to the flow meters present in the anesthesia machines to measure fresh gas flow, which uh, work on the principle of a variable orifice but a fixed pressure drop principle. This has been explained in detail in the flow meter uh, doodly, the link to which is provided here. Uh, the picture on the far side of the slide uh, shows the actual uh, pneumotachometer. The white uh, tube-like structure houses the orifice across which the pressure drop happens. The two tubes leading away from the system uh, help in measuring the pressure on either side of the orifice, thereby measuring the pressure drop and thereby the flow. Uh, the second picture in this slide represents a cross section through the pneumotachometer device showing uh, an orifice in orange color and the direction of gas flow. Having a fixed orifice introduces a new set of problems. Now, if the orifice is too small, it will be effective in measuring low flows as it will be able to generate a measurable pressure drop even with low flows. But as the flows increase, it will act like an obstruction to the flow. Alternatingly, if we have a large orifice, it will be effective in measuring high flows but when the flow is low it will not be able to generate a effective pressure drop thereby making it difficult to measure flow in order to overcome this the restrictor which is used is constructed in form of a flap made of a synthetic material called mylar at low flow states the flap is in its natural state forming a small slit like orifice. This generates a measurable differential pressure across despite low flows. But as the gas flows increase, the flap opens more, reducing the resistance to flow and at the same time is able to generate a pressure drop across the flap so that flow can be measured. There is a one to one correspondence between each of the flow rates and the pressure drop it creates, and this is used to measure flow. GE machines generally have two flow sensors, one each in the inspiratory and the expiratory limbs. So the mylar flap in its natural uh, shape for presenting a slit like orifice in low flow state and a widely open position during the high flow states are indicated respectively in the upper and the lower parts of the second diagram. So the pneumotachometers in the GE machines are uh, prone to errors of uh, measurements due to condensation of water in the sensor assembly, particularly in low flow uh, states. In order to prevent water condensation from affecting the flow measurement, offsets are created by adding tapers and uh, crews, uh, which would in turn direct the water away from the mylar flaps as well as from the pressure sensing tubes. 
the newer GE machines um, have an inbuilt heating elements in the sensor to prevent condensation of water. As uh, Draeger machines use uh, a hot wire anemometer, when desflurane is used in some of the older workstations like Fabius and uh, Fabius Plus, uh, some uh, uh, inaccuracies in uh, flow measurements can creep in. This is due to the fact that desflurane is heated up to a temperature of 39 degrees and also is added in a significantly larger proportion as compared to other inhalational agents, both of which have uh, the ability to alter the temperature of gases flowing in the breathing circuit which in turn can affect the temperature drop at the anemometer and thereby causing uh, variations in flow measurement. So whenever uh, these machines are using desflurane, they have an option of switching on desflurane compensation, which can be chosen from the menu as indicated by the lower arrow. When you switch on the desflurane compensation uh, a symbol at the top of the screen would indicate that uh, the, indeed the desflurane compensation is switched on apart from the uh, two types of flow sensors we have uh, discussed uh, so far there can be a few more other types of flow sensors namely the pito tubes which are a variant of the differential pressure transducers, we can have ultrasonic uh, flow sensors, we can also have rotating vane anemometers. Uh, discussing all of them would be out of the scope of this uh, video. I hope uh, this doodly was uh, helpful in providing a basic uh, understanding of some of the commonly used flow sensors. Uh, thank you.